All right, let's start putting these variables to work. So uh, I'm going to delete this stuff. Uh, well, these two I'm going to delete for the time being. And <clears throat> I am going to uh, print out a message. So to print a message to the screen that pops up, like use words and put them on the screen, we can just use the text function. And we can send it a message like uh, happy coding inside parentheses with a semicolon, or inside quotation marks and with a semicolon at the end. And we have to give it a location. So we'll specify uh, the starting top left corner, I believe. And if we run this, we'll see if I did that correctly. Um, yeah, there it is. You can't really see it. Oh, because of the ellipse. So I'm going to do two slashes to make that to comment it out. That so the ellipse thing won't be drawn. And then let's run it, and we see happy coding come up there. All right. But instead of just having a fixed string of code here, we could use the variable. So we say like print out whatever is stored in the container called greeting. And we should see hello world pop up. Okay, cool. So we can make use of these containers. But let's make use of them in a slightly different way. Let's use them to draw a target symbol like we did in the last series of tutorials, but a target symbol that we can easily change around. So if we um, create the code from the last video, and we run it, we will see a target symbol pop up. Okay, cool. But now what if we wanted to make this relative not only to the width and height, but to the size of our, or to, uh, like we want to be able to move it around. Um, so let's redefine this stuff using variables that we create. And in this case, let's uh, create one for the center X, or in the text document, it calls it uh, target X. And we'll set this to 75 at first. Let's make one for the center Y point, and we'll set this equal to uh, 85, as they do in the text document. And we'll say we want to create a, um, a size variable. So I guess they use target size. I'll do that here. Target size. And we'll say this equals 100 pixels. And now we can draw, uh, write our, the lines of code relative to our variables now. So instead of, uh, oops, not target, we want, well, I'll just change these up here. I guess I'll use target. That's what they have, so it makes copying and pasting a little bit easier. Target Y. And now you can see that um, this is, you know what, I do want to use center X and center Y. I don't feel like this is as uh, clear as it could be. So we're going to use center X and center Y because I think this provides more information as to what's going on. And in fact, I'm gonna change one other thing too from the tutorial. Um, so center Y, and we're gonna have this be uh, circle width. So C width, and I'll make one more for C height. And now we're going to have the C width be here, and the C height be over here, and the height parameter. <clears throat> and if we run this code now, we can see that our target is now located at 75 over pixels 
85 pixels down, and it has a width of 100, oops, 100 by, and a height of 100. So what happens if we change some of these parameters now? Well, we can very easily adjust our circle without making very many changes, or our target symbol. Uh, so we can say, let's start it at 100 down. You can see we'll scooch it down even further. <clears throat> and we can scooch it up by saying, let's uh, do 50, not 5,000. And so it'll be at the top. And so all of the things change relative to the values here. The advantage of this is that if you if you do it in this way, you don't have to make like 15 different frustrating changes. And a second advantage is that we now name these parameters to clarify what they are. So we know which variable do we put here. This ellipse takes center x, or to, is, is like based on a center x and y point. And so we name our variables so that it's easy to remember which things go where. This is the width, this is the height. If you're just using numbers, it's super easy to get confused because you very quickly don't remember what number means what. So this is a super important way to clarify the purpose of our numbers, to get rid of these magic numbers and to give the numbers names. And so we like kind of name all the things we need to adjust up here, put those containers in the correct spots in our functions, and then adjust the individual values up here, which are then you know populated throughout. Anywhere it says center x, it'll be this value. So rather than writing it three times, we just change it once, rather than writing this three times. And this could be like 15 circles, right? And so like it, some, it starts to become impossible to change all of the values and super uh, annoying, frankly. So this just cuts down on the work by a lot. And it's really important. Um, and it's one of the foundational things that we do in computer science. So, all right. Until next time.